I did it three times. So the first time I did it, I go to this guy's house and do it. And uh, my buddy is with me because I was like, hey, I want you to just, I don't know this guy. I think that you go under when you do this. I just want somebody to be there to watch him over my body because I'm going to leave this realm for a bit. <laughs> just going to step out. That's uh, pretty accurate. I'll be back. Um, so so I do it. I hit it like two or three times and I, I go back. What was the method? Was it a vape pen or was it? No, a it was like you said, it was one of those like glass pipes. It was one of those glass pipes, which isn't, it's not uh, just a meth pipe. That's like a, what you would call um, a glass vaporizer. Just the way. Yeah. It was but just the it's best way. Mostly used for smoking. It was meth just the best way to do crack. Over here. But, uh, okay. So essentially I hit it and I lay back and like, I was like, like you said, I heard the sounds immediately and I saw colors and everything, and then all of a sudden I just, like, shot off, like, up through the atmosphere, I guess. I don't know. So I felt like my body was just, like, accelerating at a really high speed. And then the next thing I know, um, I'm just, like, seeing all these colors and splashes, and it's just a very beautiful experience. And it seems like it was a long, long time that I was on this journey uh, into space. And then it went black, and then nothing. So I was just sitting there for a few minutes, which who knows how long I was in the blackness, but I was just trying to explore the blackness. And then I heard my buddy tell the guy, um, oh, you don't know how long he's been waiting to try this stuff, man. And then they were laughing. And then so I audibly heard them laughing. So I knew I was coming out. And so I laughed too. And they were like, oh, what happened? And the, I kind of gave him a trip report. And so it wasn't crazy. And I was like, I want to do it again. I want to hit it again. Cause I don't think I kind of went through like, the, the 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 veil the right? final stage the final yeah. stage so maybe just two hits wasn't good enough so same day um <laughs> later that day i get my it was a, one of my cousins who um he's like into the psychedelics and stuff so um i don't want to dox him but his name's jacob so <laughs> jacob comes to my house and we got like a uh, buddhist music on and i have incense and my apartment was very clean it was just like the environment was perfect right and uh, I was like, all right, I'm going to go under first. And if you want to try it after, you can do that. So I go in, bro. And like I hit it in my, I have a dab rig. So I take like a huge, huge blast as big as I can get. And then I was like, heat it up again. That way I can fucking hit it again if it doesn't work. So I like lay back and he's like, you got to get it ready again. And then I, uh, I come to after like 60 seconds or something. And it was just nothing. And I was like, dude, I don't think it's working. So as I'm hitting this second one, bro, everything in the room was like inception. Like I, and I actually read a lot of places that most of the time you don't get open eye visuals. So I was, I was like really surprised at what was happening. And I kind of, it was so unexpected that I had to close my eyes immediately because I was very scared of the room like turning. And, uh, as I closed my eyes, I had this painting at the time that overlooks like this mountain in Italy and all this beautiful water over the ocean. Mm. And, uh, as I close my eyes, I like shoot through this painting and I'm just like flying outer body over the water. And, uh, <laughs> In the in the background, bro, what I see are these like uh like these elf like elf, they're, but they're they're women. They're very like beautiful. There's four or five of them, and uh, they're in the background. They're jumping and making hearts as mm. they jump, two of them mm -hmm. at a time, and they're making these like uh like neon heart symbols in the sky, like fireworks. And they said, uh, "Hit it again." <laughs> That's what it told. I got chills when I told you that, bro. They said, "Hit it again." Cause I was trying to go where they were, but no matter how far I was flying, it felt like I couldn't get close enough to them. And I said, no. Right. And I was like, no. And I felt myself like push off. And then like, I felt myself kind of like fall back into my body. Mm -hmm. And like, I was like, wow, I was, I was, uh, I was good on it for a while. And I was like, I was fun. I was like, I think I saw something. Mm -hmm. I was like, I think something talked to me like some, like a spirit, like other, like multiple spirit alien elf type of, these very beautiful entities, though, it felt good. It felt like home. It felt like uh, mm -hmm. they were very warm, loving energies, but I was scared for them to reveal themselves to me because I didn't know I didn't know what kind of information was going to come back with me that may change my life, and it scared me at the time. 